Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to optimize your Daz Studio character and really any custom character FBX model you have. I will show you guys how to utilize Simplygon to auto-generate LODs for your skeletal mesh. I will also discuss how to compress our textures to help out with the overall performance. So guys, if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I make all sorts of tutorial videos and you guys don't want to miss out. Without out of the way, let's get right into the video. The first thing that you will need to get is you'll have to download the Simplygon SDK. If you never heard of Simplygon, basically it's a auto LOD generation program um, and it allows you to optimize your game by adding level of details and there's integration to Unreal Engine to allow you to, in the engine, optimize your game characters, meshes, and everything else. So to go ahead and download it, just click the downloads here. And then you're going to see the Simplygon 9 SDK. You want to download right here the SDK installer, this exe file right here. Okay, so go ahead and download that. Okay, so once you have the file downloaded, you want to run the installer and install this Simplygon SDK. Basically, when that's all finished, you just search up in your Windows search bar, Simplygon. And you're going to see you have a few different options here. You want to click on the Simplygon for UE4 installer. And this will open up the installer. So we're going to install the plugin, integrate Simplygon into Unreal Engine. So go ahead and click start. You can see here there are the different versions here that it supports. Now the plugin version that I have is an older release right here, as you can see. So right now I don't think they have support for the latest version of Unreal Engine 4.25, but they might uh, update that later on. So anyways, just click on the version that you want, for example, 4.23. Go ahead, check that, click Next, and then it just says Done. So I just installed it to that version. Okay, so you can go ahead and open up your Unreal Engine project. All right, and then the first thing you want to do is go into Edit Plugins, and then you want to search up for Simplygon for UE4, and make sure this checkbox is enabled. Then it will ask you to restart the engine, and then you just restart it. Alright, once you're back in the engine, you can go ahead and open up your character skeletal mesh. So as you can see here, I have my character skeletal mesh that I've been using for all my projects that I got from Daz Studio. And we can see here we have 18,000 vertices, 33,000 triangles, so it's a pretty high poly mesh. If we go into the wireframe here, you can see the wireframe of the character as well. Okay, so just go ahead and scroll down in the details panel right here, and you're going to see these new options appear when you enable the Simplygon plugin. Alright, before we go any more further, I actually ran into a bug here when I was trying to uh, change the number of LODs and click apply changes. For some reason there's a bug where when you press a apply changes, it just shows this little loading bar and it will just continue loading and it won't get anywhere. So for some reason, either it's broken for uh, 4.20, the version that I'm working with. Um, either way, I'm just going to go ahead and migrate my character to a newer version of the engine, probably 4.23. Alright, so I just went ahead and migrated all of my files here, my character with all the animations, to a new project in 4.23 with the Simply Gone plugin installed and everything. So if we just go ahead and open up our character file here and scroll down to the LOD settings. Right here you want to change the number of LODs to something like five. Click apply changes and then you're gonna see here it's gonna load pretty fast. That's how it should be. If you guys do get the bug, let me know in the comments below. Okay, and then now we can go ahead and see the LODs that it generated. So to see this, you can go into Lit, Level of Detail, Colorization, and then Mesh LODs. And then when you scroll out here, you can see different colorations for the level of LODs. And then what we can do next, actually, is we can do a stress test where we just take here the walking animation. Go ahead and drag that into your scene. We're just going to copy and paste it a couple of times, like so. And then when we hit play, 
run around the scene and see kind of the uh, frame rate that we have. All right, and you can also go into the LOD coloration right here. And then when you just hit simulate, you can see the different LODs. So obviously gray right here is LOD zero, then red is LOD one, green LOD two, and so on. And then if you go on the wireframe, you can see, you know, the detail reductions. Okay, so what I did here is I just copied and pasted like over 140 of these characters just with the walking animation. You can see our FPS in most areas is around 60 or even better. So as you can see with the optimization, uh, by just simply generating these LODs, we can be able to have hundreds of these characters uh, playing, you know, different animations in, in a very small compressed area and still get really good frame rates. One thing I'd like to also mention is that the morph targets you can see here are playing uh, for the breast animations. So you can see that they're working perfectly here. But if you look at the LOD1 or any of the other LODs, it doesn't work for any of the other LODs. It only works for the base LOD which is fine, I mean, you're not really going to notice the difference in the morph targets playing from that far away. Uh, one of the things that you might notice that might be a certain issue or a caveat is uh, if you're, you're using morph targets for your character, for example here if you're using a different body preset for your character, you might notice the difference in LODs here when you click play. As you can see, the base LOD has a morph target, but uh, LOD1 and all the other LODs don't have that. And you can see here it's kind of popping in and out. So it might just be something that you need to play around with. LOD transition from 0 to 1, you might need to play around with that. One more thing that I want to show is if we zoom up here on the textures for the character here. If we go to the face material. You can see here we have 2048 by 2048. So the original image that you export um, your DAS character will be around like 4000 by 4000 resolution. So really you don't need that high of a resolution for your character, um, especially because you know, you're not going to have your character or your camera this close to your character's face at all times. So you want to reduce the texture size here to 2000 by 2000. So to do that, you can just open up Photoshop. Okay, so you just want to open up the file with Photoshop. To export that, you can just export uh, basically all these textures. Right click, Asset Actions, Export, and just export them on the desktop. Or unless you already have them on the desktop, you can just open up Photoshop, go to Image, image size and you want to scale this down to you know uh, half the original size so if it was 4000 you want to scale it down to 2000 by 2000 and that will compress your images that way you don't have you know twice the amounts of detail you know it won't be that noticeable with the character anyways like if you zoom in um, so just a really small thing that you can do to help with the optimization of your game. Alright, so I think that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.